Hey folks, it's Nikki at Green Clean Designs. I am going to show you this. It'll go along with a blog post on some cubicle DIY, so do it yourself. And here I used the books as far as the book cover. Um, I was able to buy that at Scraps in Kansas City, but you could do it with any old book or maybe a favorite book or whatnot. Um, and this is what I actually purchased these for 25 cents each. And then I had some contact paper that I was able to cut a design out of that. And then I just applied that. So if you look, it could be on your desk just like that. And then, I hope I knocked that one down, but then I did the laminate dry erase board just attach that so that when you need a dry erase board for your desk or cubicle, you've got that right there. So it can just set right there. And we are good to go. And then this is this one has a different design, so a different size. So depending on what book you want um, or how big you want your dry erase board, that would be the book cover to pick. Uh, as far as my favorite dry erase markers, I love these. There's three of them and they're magnetic and they have the little eraser on the top and these are a dollar at Dollar Tree. So I love these anytime, and then I did a little Velcro, and then I just stick it on the back of my wood tray. Um, or you could have, if you have a magnetic board, you can put it right there on the fridge or whatnot. But love that these are lightweight, so great for if you wanna just put it in your briefcase for a meeting or whatnot, you've got that. Or if you wanna work someplace else in the office, you can just take that and kinda of write down your to-dos. So anyway, hopefully this will help you make a really cool dry erase board.